basically the Swiss Army knife of uh, cutting metal machines. Well, high on my bucket list is backpacking through the Amazon and hanging out with piranhas. However, today, this piranha is about cutting metal, not my backpacking trip. So, we have Alex again with me, one of my favorite people here in Mexico from Grupo High Tech. Alex, thank you so much for being a part of the show again. Thank you very much for you tuning in. So, without being overly complicated, this piranha is cutting metal, right? That is correct. It's, a, it's an iron worker. It basically cuts, uh, uh, notches, it uh, punches, uh, everything that you need to make a, 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 a strip of metal or a, a round solid or a square, you can make that cut that you need for making the, for the you know, like the everyday uh, metal work workshop. And I'm looking here at these pieces of material, it's pretty thick, so I'm guessing the piranha has a strong jaw on it as well, right? Yeah, no, no wonder why it's called piranha. It's called because it's, it, it grabs and it won't let go. <laughs> so it basically has the power to make a big punch in everything. You can uh, cut up to uh, uh, three quarters of an inch thick uh, strips, or even uh, you can uh, 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 a two inch uh, uh, diameter round bar so it basically has all the power that this machine can provide for making the the work more reliable and for is of course making more manual type of small precision type of uh, punches you know when we started this conversation off i said simplified right i mean it's a cutting machine it's going to cut material but it's strong and every shop either has one similar or needs to upgrade and buy this piranha machine but we all are cutting metal every single day in one facet or another aren't we exactly and that's basically the swiss army knife of uh, cutting metal machines it's very uh, versatile uh, we basically have all sort of uh, offerings we go from 50 ton this model here is a 65 ton uh, iron worker and we go all the way to 190 ton so uh, we can have different type of power depending on what you need to do. And uh, you know, it's very versatile. You can pull them um, and put uh, tooling every time that you need to do something different. You can even make a pipe notching, uh, uh, fish, uh, fish mount type of cutting in tubes for uh, small and, and then welding. So it's basically uh, one of the, and, uh, of the uh, other solutions that we offer at Next Tech. Let's elaborate more on that flexibility, if you don't mind, Alex. Sure. Obviously, flexibility is important to everyone to go from one job to another job to another job. How quick is that change on this piranha? Well, basically, it's a very quick change. It's not uh, as automated as uh, like a turret punch or anything like that. But still, that if a, if a person needs to make a, uh, a small adjustment to the current work, they can just pull out the tool, pull it, pull it, pull it back on, and make the work. Uh, right immediately and it's a very hydraulic it's very reliable it's very well centered in security so you won't have any type of issues uh, you know regarding the security of the, per the person using the machine but it's a very quick and efficient machine I like all my fingers I don't know about yeah. you but I appreciate <laughs> the sef safety features yes, on here course. for sure yeah exactly did I hear you correctly when you said 190 ton? What is the size of a machine like that? It's basically the same size, you know, it, the, the tonnage doesn't have to do uh, much with the size. Of course, it's a little bit larger, but it's basically offering more power and the centering into the, the notching and the, and the shearing of, uh, of, the, of the piranha cutter. So within the same footprint, if I'm, say, battling for real estate in my factory and I need something that's going to have more power to it, I'm not losing a lot of real estate by just upgrading the amount of force pressure the Piranha can offer, right? The real estate space in my shop is more or less going to be this size. Exactly. And it's very, very well. You can accommodate. You can even put one in your house, Tony. I mean, this can actually be plugged into a 110 uh, volt uh, uh, connector. You know? huh. So it's a very... Like you say, like everyone wants to have one at home. <laughs> so for people who are as excited as I am about this product, where can they learn more? Is it GrupoHighTech.com? Is there somewhere else we should look for this Piranha machine? Well, basically you can learn more in our Next Tech machine, uh, uh, machinery uh, website, which is uh, www.nextech.com.mx. And there you will find more information about the Piranha brand that we're currently offering. Excellent, Alex. Well, guys out there, 
Join me on my Amazon hike to see the other piranhas, but for now, get one of these for your shop, for your garage, whatever tickles your fancy, I guess. And Alex, thank you so much for sharing this information. Thank you very much for doing it, Tony. Always a pleasure, my Always friend. Always a pleasure.